Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today guys we are back on One Piece Banner Rush to bring you guys another tutorial video where today's tutorial is going to be on character support and how to get it up or get your character support better. So character support in this game is very crucial. You need good character support if you want to stand a chance in league battle. You can have six star boost two characters all you want with good medals. But if you have terrible support, you're not going to stand a chance in league battle. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get your support up, what makes it go up, and simply just overall how to get it better. So if you guys do enjoy the video and want to see some more, make sure you smash like button, subscribe, and turn post notifications. Without any further ado, let's hop right into it. So... Now, the first question that comes to your mind will be, what's character support? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So, we're going to go to Edit Party, and we're going to be using this team. This is my Challenge Battle team. There's no nothing on here but my two characters. So, character support is this little thing right here. You see this, like, little bar below the character's power level? Yeah, that's your support gauge. And depending on how strong a unit is... That no, and that will gradually increase. Like, you know, the more powerful the character is, the higher the numbers will be. So as of right now, the number is just dashes or just zero. Like there's zero support, there's no support, anything on these characters. But if I put someone like Raylink on here, look at that. Now the character support is 15.7%. So now that means these guys have even more attack, HP, and defense, which you can see indicated by this thing right here. The higher support is, the better stats you'll have. As I said, this increases your HP, attack, and defense, mainly your HP. You'll mainly see it affect your HP. It will affect your attack and defense, but you'll mainly see it affect your HP the most. From what I, from when I play this game, I mainly be noticing my HP be skyrocketing. For some references. I'm going to show you two screenshots on the screen right now. The screenshot on the left is without character support, while the screenshot on the right is with character support. And as you can see, this is a huge difference just by having your character support up. In case you're wondering what team I was using, here's the team. If it loads, this is the team I was running in that clip. I have 136.3% support for my blue team. So yeah, that was this while I was rocking for, for me to get that type of health. Our care support so yeah that's just in case you're wondering so now now since we figured out what character support is and whatnot and why it's important you know why it's increasing your stats and whatnot we are now going to go over how to make it go up or whatnot so as i said previously what makes your character support up is by dragging these characters into this thing called support slot and this will increase your character su overall support percentage so if I put Vista right here, I put him right here. Now the character support is 31.7%. So that means I have even more HP, attack, and defense now. And this can go by any character. You can put Sentamar in there, you know. As long as there's a character in here, your character support will go up. It doesn't matter who the character is. As long as you're putting a character in that support slot, then your character support is going to go up. So, yeah. If you're a new player and you're unlocking these these support slots, I highly advise you put a character in there. Even if the character's not strong right now, you will gradually get them stronger and whatnot. And, well, yeah. It just takes time. You just need a bit of patience. So, the best advice that I could give you if you want to get like some good support right off the bat. If you're a new player and you want to get some good support right off the bat. This is what you need to do. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Yeah, these guys. These two-star characters. You need, to, you need to utilize these two-star characters because the reason why you want to use them is because since they're two-star characters, the materials you need to max them out is really, really cheap. Like, it's really cheap to max these characters out. And it gives you some good support, too. So, like, I'm going to take this character, for instance, right here. So if I want to max out his skills, watch this. See, look, it's only going to take, like, look at the materials I need. And it's only going to take one special skill orb. If this was a four-star character, it would have took so much more materials. And this would have gone from one to ten. It would have taken ten of these special skill orbs. But now I only need one to max it out. Now, of course, you shouldn't do this. 
if you're going to be working on your support cares and whatnot, do not, and I repeat, do not get your, your skill levels to level 5. Only give them to level 4 because it saves your special skill orbs. Give them to level 4 and keep it like that, okay? Don't waste your special skill orbs on characters like this. Only use your special skill orbs if you know for a fact you're going to use that character in League Battle. It, the character don't have to be the best character in the entire game. Just just run a character if you know for a fact you can, you can you know, put up a fight in League Battle. Like, you know, a good attacker, defender, or runner, you know? If you know you stand a chance with them, then I suggest boost, you know, using your special skill orbs for them. But other than that, don't. Keep your skills level 4. Just have it level 4 to support, support. So, obviously, leveling up your skills increases your um, support percentage. On top of that, leveling up your units get their support percentage up. Now, I don't think... I don't think the, um... The grade, the base grade of the unit affects these XP orbs. I don't believe. I haven't really been paying attention to that much about them, but I don't believe it affects it all that much. However, though, I do know, I do know, I do know what these things do affect, and that is boost orbs. So it takes a lot of boost orbs to boost one or two a character. But like I said, since two star characters are relatively cheap. You can boost you can boost out your units pretty freaking easy. See look, it only takes me like 18 to get this guy like to boost one. Where at first I think it took like what 90 or something? Like let me let's just do like a like a little comparison, right? Let me get like a base four star character. Like a four star character I don't even have I have not even worked on. Like Smoker for instance. Like look, let's try to boost one him. Look at the materials, look. 90. You need 90 of a HP, attack, and defense, boost one orbs, and you need 15 of these um, boost trait orbs. Compared to the, the um, two-star character that I only need, like, what, was it nine? I believe it was nine, right? Let me, let's go back and see real quick. But I believe it was nine. I came off, oh, here it is. Yeah, I believe, was it nine? Yeah, well, no, it was 18. Yeah, but you get the gist of it, though, right? You see how much cheaper it is to like boost one and boost two of your characters. So I can boost two of them right now, but I'm not going to though because I have a lot of other characters that I need to boost two right now, and I can't really work on my hyper boost as of now. There's a lot of characters that I can hyper boost, but I just can't work on them as the time being. But later on down the line, I will try to hyper boost them. But if you're a new player, I highly advise you try to work on these low star characters yes they're not good at all but if you want to get your character support up i definitely advise you do this because it, trust me it will help you out in the long run trust me on that so <clears throat> now here comes the next part of the video just because you have a character on here it doesn't mean you should just slap on them there's two re oh, rather nah there, just because the character is right here it doesn't mean you should just slap them into the support slot there are two reasons for this the reason one is because well a let's say for instance i put Sentamaru on here right and he's but here's the thing Sentamaru is a green unit and i'm running two blue units you don't want to do this if you're gonna run element characters you need to run the same element of whatever character that you're running so we're running Claw and Hakuba. These guys are both blue runners. So what you'll probably do is sort of buy the blue element because if you sort of buy whatever element that the character is focused on, you get even more support percentage. So again, if I put Vista, 16.1%. See, that's pretty good, you know? As opposed to if I put a red or green, it would have probably been lower percentage. Not by a lot, but it's definitely noticeable and the little amount of support can help you out in league battle you want as much support as you can possibly get so yeah keep that in mind make sure you know what for a fact what what um color your supports are um if you want an example here's my mix element team as you can see i run i have a red attacker and a blue runner and as you can see in my support slots i split them up i have one half blue elements and the other half red elements. Here's like here's just like a little example of, of of what I'm talking about. You just want them to you want one side to be dominant while the other side have their dominant 
colors. But if both if both characters you're using are blues or reds or green, then run like the respective color. You know, that's why I have like separate teams for each color. As you can see, all of them, my words won't be in green, but it's something, right? It's better than nothing. All right, quit a right there. Sorry about that. I have to do a I have to do something for my family member. But um, we are now back. So like I was saying, yeah, just run like the um dominant color for each unit to get your character support up, and you'll see it'll make a big difference in league battle. Well, not probably not that big of a difference, but you get what I'm saying though. Now the other reason why you shouldn't run just random unit is because there's a thing called support tags. Support tags are used whenever you run a certain character. With like a certain with a certain amount of tags like multiple times so like to see what type of tags these characters have well first we should see what type of tags there are you can see this by tapping this thing right here called the view character type effects if you tap this just open up this thing right here and these and there's all these sorts of tags right here and these tags all do something different like attacker for instance increase your attack you know and as you can see there's like this little bar right here this bar will go up depending on how many characters you using but of course you're gonna have to power them up if you put like a red attacker you can put like multiple red attackers and this thing won't even be full and the reason why is because that red attacker is probably weak you have to get them as strong as physically possible so that way the bar will go up even more it's like the same case with the support percentage. The more powerful they are, the more the bar will go up. It's, same, it's the same logic with the support percentage. The more powerful they are, the higher the um, support percentage is. So yeah. Let's say, for instance, I want the attack attack to be active. What I'll do, I'll probably like this. Well, you can just do this. You can just tap this filter button right here. You said this is button right here. You'll tap this, and it'll just sort of buy every attacker that you currently own. And again, this is a blue team. So I'll just do this. I'll just, you know, oh, oh, you can't do that. So I'll just, you know, tap you and just keep going until the the bars is fully filled up with attackers. There we go. So now, since it's max level, I'm gonna have this one activated. In, in, increase your attack by 200 as well as increasing your crit damage by 5%. This is pretty good. Of course, there's also many other tags that you can use, like New World. This one increases the damage against the enemy. Enemy, yeah, increases your damage against enemies from the element that you're weak against by 15%. This is very good tag. You should definitely always have that tag activated. And there's a lot of New World characters. Like most meta characters are New World characters, so you're gonna have this tag activated anyway. Or rather, most support characters that you're gonna be using have the New World tag. So. Yeah, you just, you just, you know, maneuver yourself around that, as you will. Um, Straw Hat Pirates, reduce the crit damage you take. Uh, worst Generation, um, increase the knockback distance around your character treasure. Paramecia, increase your crit damage when you're below 50%. You get the gist of it. These tags all do something special. It just depends on whatever character that you're running that's running a certain tag. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how exactly do I know what tag these characters have? That's pretty simple to answer. All you have to do is just have the character that you want to use for your support. You see this little personal icon right here? You'll tap this, and this will pop up all the character tags that these guys have. So Claw is, they have the runner tag, Paramecia, Captain, Power Users, War, New World, and Worst Generation tag. So if I wanted those support tags, I'll just put these guys on there and bam. It probably won't activate all the tags. Well, it will activate at least one of them and it will get the bar up some. And I'll just have to find some more characters with those same tags that I will want. So yeah, though. Now, one problem that I could see happening is that you're trying to like get high support, but you know... You're trying to get high support, but good tags, too. I can understand that could be a bit of a problem. But here's my advice. I say in the beginning, if you're like a new player, just focus on getting your support up. Just, just get up as high as you possibly can, right? So, like, you'll probably be using this button right here, the all select button. You know, just like select the support characters by itself. And, you know, it'll just put all the characters in here. Yeah, 
yeah, sure, the tags suck, but I think for now, you should just have somewhat of a decent support percentage, so that way you can actually send somewhat of a chance in league. When you start getting a lot of characters and you get them six star or five star or whatnot, that's, at that point, that's when you should be focusing on finding a balance between good character tags and good support. It's all about balance and learning how exactly to do it. This can be quite difficult and it has a huge learning curve, but don't worry guys, with time and patience, I know you can do it and you'll learn. We all have to learn this, even me. I mean, frick, there's no telling how long we all been playing this game for, so yeah. This, this may have a bit of a learning curve, but again, I believe in you. And I believe that's about it for this today's video about character support i hope this video helps some of you guys out and um working on your character support if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you smash the like button subscribe and tell post notifications and i will of course see you guys next video all right peace out everybody